Hey everyone, how are you doing? In today's lesson, we are going to install the WhatsApp Evolution API, which I consider to be one of the best unofficial WhatsApp APIs. We're going to install it on a ZPanel in an easy copy and paste way. And we'll also have it already connected here with Nathan. The advantages of the Evolution API are that you can connect multiple WhatsApp accounts mm -hmm. here without needing a. You can use your WhatsApp number both on uh, on your phone and here, and you can connect several WhatsApp accounts. It has a lot of features here. In today's lesson, we are going to install the Evolution API and get it ready for use. To connect WhatsApp here, all you need to do is create a new instance and scan the QR code, and you'll be ready to use the WhatsApp API right here in your Nathan. So today we're going to do the installation and connect it to Nathan. If you're interested in more lessons about this, about this WhatsApp API, just leave a comment below. So I'll leave this template in the description, easy and quick for you to just copy and paste and follow the step by step here. In EasyPanel, we're going to install it here. If you don't have EasyPanel, I also leave a link in the description for you to install EasyPanel on your server. So we go here to add kits. There are three projects, right? In this project, I will click here on add and I will first uh, install Redis and also Postgres SQL. I'll install Redis here first. I'm going to install it right now. I'll also go to more here and install PostgreSQL. I'm going to create it here. And here I'm going to uh, install one more application. I'm going to name it Evolution. I'll go back here. Now I'll have the Evolution application here. And here I'm going to use a Docker image. So it will install automatically for me here. I'll leave in the video description where the images are located. And uh, we're going to get this uh, latest version here, which is version 2.2, .2, the very latest version. So um, I'm going to copy it here go back to the installation in EasyPanel and paste it. You need to delete this first part here, Docker pool, and leave only this name. If you don't do this, it will give an error. Then I click save. Uh, actually, I put the name in the wrong place. It's here. Look in the image field, right? I'm going to save and it will start the installation for me here. While it's installed in here, until it turns green, let's go over here, see, in this spreadsheet, there are the environment variables. We're going to need to paste the information here. We installed PostgreSQL, where it's marked in red here. So I'm going to go back here to PostgreSQL, I'm going to go to credentials here and copy this URL. I copy it. I'm going to go back here where I was installing. Yeah, I've already copied it, right? Then I go back uh, to the spreadsheet, right? In this case, you can copy the spreadsheet there and make a copy of it so you can edit it. So I'm going to go here where it's marked in red and I'm going to paste the PostgreSQL, the database here 
and then I'll go back and get the Redis here. I go to credentials, copy the URL. I come back here to the a spreadsheet. Down below, I'll also have the Redis highlighted in red here. I press Ctrl V, pasted it, and now I'm going to copy these variables so I can paste them. I press Ctrl A to select everything in the document, then I copy it. After that, I go back to Easy Panel, navigate to Evolution, and from there, I go to Environment. I press Ctrl V to paste, and finally, I save the changes. And I click on Deploy again here. Look. One more change I need to make here. I go to Domains and edit the port here. It's 8080, save. And now I need to make one more change here to complete the setup process. So I go to the domain section again in the dashboard, carefully copy this domain address and then proceed to the environment variable section. There I paste this URL into the appropriate field to ensure everything is configured correctly. Saved. I deploy again. Wait a bit for it to finish. Right? Now, this domain I have here is my domain. So I copy it. This is the domain I'll use to access. If I hit Ctrl V here, look, some information will show up here. This is the management panel right here. I can copy and paste it here and I can already save it because I'll always access it through this panel. It might be that if you've never used it before, it will ask you to create an account. And you're going to need a password. The password you'll use, I let me just open it here. If you need a password, it will be this uh, authentication key, which is here in the environment variables inside evolution. If it asks for a password, you enter this password here. You can even change this password if you want and then redeploy so you can access it. You're going to access this panel here without any connection. In this case, I'm going to connect uh, a WhatsApp here look. I just need to enter whatever name I want. Test. Don't change anything here because it already has the connection methods but this is the one we are actually going to use to connect. You can enter the number here, but it's not really necessary to put the WhatsApp number because it will be the number that scans the QR code. I'm going to save it. This instance has already been created. Now you will need to make the connection. So you going to open your WhatsApp, go to the three dots, on the side at the top and select link devices, right? And connect device. Then you're gonna ask it to generate the QR code here. Tap connect devices on your phone and scan this QR code.
your phone will show as connecting and once it finishes on your phone you can close this here see so it will already show up here as connected see so it's already connected your whatsapp is already connected here look if you go back to the beginning it already shows up here as connected and for us to connect it with nate n i'll go here to settings right here you have the events the webhook the first thing i always do is here in settings you set it to ignore groups because otherwise it will reply inside groups as well go ahead and save this here then go here to events webhook here you're going to paste the url from Nathan. so there are several things here that uh, i can cover in other lessons which you can use to monitor whatsapp but what we want here is look when a message is received so it's going to be this message is absurd activate it also here look the webhook needs to be turned on if it's not turned on here it won't work so i can save here i only want it to trigger when a message is received but it needs the url right so we're going to do that right here look i'll go to Nathan and create a new workflow i'm going to uh, create it from the webhook right it's going to be the post method and i'll copy here uh, the test mode url for now i won't activate it i'll just copy the url in test mode i'm going to save now now i i need to send a message from another number to this phone or even from the same one but then it will come as from me right so i can start receiving the first message so for that i've already saved it here look with this upset enabled and it also needs to be enabled up here saved and now i'll go here in a10 i'll put it in listening mode and send a message yeah from another phone so i can receive it i'll type he here so it's already received the message here see and uh, here there will be several pieces of uh, information that will come in so i can work with them however i want right here look just as an example then i can pull up the data i want here see i have here uh the phone number that sent the message i have i have what was with the messages right see hi so there's a lot of information here so yeah this was a um a lesson on how to install this api which lets you do a lot of things and i can also send messages through this uh, through this same api that i connected with the same number i can also send messages and then handle all the artificial intelligence processing here replying to the message i received so this was a lesson on how to install it and uh if you found this interesting and want more videos on this topic let me know in the comments take care see you in the next video